Food was good outside. Too. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Um, I get the pleasure of starting this thing off, and I tell you, um, back in 19, a while ago, when I started coaching, <laughs> all right, um, I used to save my money as much as I could, get in the car and drive and try to learn how to be a coach. I could drove down and watch Coach Bob Field, uh, Mayor Bryant, you know, any place I could go, drove out and Bill Walsh or whatever, and I got a chance to start coaching and learning all I could about offense. I mean, I knew, ev I mean, I thought I knew everything. All right, I, mean, just, I just watch film everything. And it finally hit me a couple years ago. All right, I came to the realization that I am really a good offensive code coordinator. <laughs> and I have a really good quarterback. <laughs> and I think these two guys have a chance to be really good quarterbacks. All right? So, um, First guy, all right? Just like the music in the background, right? A little bit? Okay. All right, TJ. I'll talk about the music. All right, TJ. I had a chance, I saw TJ, uh, Actually, was recruiting him at some other name, unnamed school that I was coaching at. All right, uh, fell in love with him. Came to our camp. Um, really, really excited about young TJ. And the reason is, is because he's really excited about being here at UCLA. All right. Um, you know, uh, mom and dad, Coach Moore and I and um, Adrian went and visited him in Dallas. Uh, made a home visit on him. Um, he's actually graduated early from from high school. All right, so he was done. This was kind of a blessing that you all are on this uh, trimesters or whatever you guys have. Quarters. All right, quarters, okay? Because, because now he can enroll and be here in time for spring ball. All right. For spring ball. All right, so he's had a couple months here where he can learn the offense, get his feet up underneath him, have a chance to come in in this spring and, act, and compete uh, for, the, you know, for the starting job, obviously. Uh, one of the things that I think is that everybody pretty much, and I know Coach Morris told us this, is that everybody starts on the same playing field. I right? have, no, have no preconceived ideas. Who's going to be the quarterback? Who's not going to be the quarterback? Anything. Life's about competing, and this kid is anxious to come in here and compete all right, to be our quarterback. Uh, so I'll show a couple shots of him. All right. The thing about uh, TJ, he is, he is, you know, sometimes those aren't always true, but he is about a 6'4 kid. Um, he's also... Uh, you know, he like that guy. Have a guy that maybe he's not the fastest guy out there, but he's got some mobility in the pocket. I think he's a really strong arm guy. I like that he's smart. He's got a little bit of gym rat in him. All right, in other words, that he eats, drinks, and sleeps football. Can't get enough of it. Uh, he calls me every day. He's throwing every day. He's he's doing all those things that the great ones have to have in their in their makeup to be great ones. All right, this next next young young man who who I I read uh, I knew about Devin, but not until Coach Moore took the job and called me about this young man. Um, and so I really feel doubly lucky because not only do I have one really good quarterback, but we have two really good quarterbacks to overcome my coaching. All right, so that's that's a positive. This guy's a real dynamic kid. All right. Um, you know, he's, he's, I don't know, ranked third. Both these kids are ranked in the top, you know, whatever those rankings mean, but in the top five or six kids, quarterbacks in the country. This kid, was, uh, Devin, was ranked number three, comes from a really strong family. His dad played at TCU, played ball. His mom is actually the back, backup singer for Bruce Springsteen. Wow. Right, pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, but, but, but this guy, um, you know, He's kind of got that the number seven, he, you know, kind of the Michael Vick feel about him, where, you know, he's a very explosive kid in the pocket and a very explosive young man outside of the pocket. So he brings a lot of other qualities to this position. And you guys are going to kind of like watching this guy because every time he touches the touches ball, usually good things happen. That's him number seven right there. <laughs> But 
But I got to tell this while you're watching. It's just a quick story because because Coach Mora told me we needed to go see this guy. All right, so we're sitting in Lowry's eating a prime rib at eight o'clock at night, and he says, "Come." He says, "Come on, Mora." He says, "We got to go see Devin out in New Jersey." Well, obviously we live in Los Angeles, right? Okay. Um, so we get in the car, we we get to the air, airport, all right, and we get on, we board the plane, which is a six and a half hour red eye, all right. So part of the point of this story is is what this guy is doing, where he's coming from, all right, to be a part of this program is is right there. Is it shows you, you know, what kind of, what type of kid he is. So we, we get on the big plane and all this, and well, he forgot to tell me when we got in the car to get on the plane that as we boarded the plane and I walked by him in first class, all right? They said, they said I was in a middle seat in the back for six and a half hours, all right? But no, it was a great trip and it was fun, and we are really, really excited about both these young men, and you guys ought to be really excited about them too. Thanks.